go. Here we go, I'm excited. Oh, oh my god. god. We're playing as a giant yellow question mark? I would love that. That would be amazing. Someone mod that now. Yeah. But like, I think the closest you ever get is uh, any playthrough past the first for Journey. Mm -hmm. Then you're kind of playing as the tutorial character because you're helping another player. Yeah, that makes sense. So there's the last Chaos Emerald. Mm -hmm. And the Master and uh, Angel Island falls again. Jesus. For reasons. But Knuckles is just like, okay, what the fuck, seriously, you guys? Falls in exactly the same spot. Yeah. In fact, that might very well be the same cutscene. Uh, could very well be. Could very well be. Honestly, we haven't been paying attention. No. Yeah. Oh, we're playing as Eggman. That's cool. Peep of Eggman. Yeah. <laughs> Oh. What is this? Chaos! Carl! The Master Emerald is where it belongs. That it is. Mm -hmm. So are you. Island is still falling. That it is. So are you. This doesn't make any sense. Neither do you. Maybe those chaos emeralds that I brought back with me. I'll give them back to Eggman. Something to do with what's happening. And then beat up Sonic. <laughs> I'll take them to Sonic for his advice. Maybe if I jam these in Sonic's eye sockets. <gasps> Eggman. This is terrible! Chaos is... Is what? A puddle! It's poorly rendered! <laughs> I heard two... Foot freaking sounds. I wonder if they just dropped the characters <laughs> outside of... Yes, Eggman you. learned his lesson. <laughs> yep. And maybe I'll take another vacation somewhere. Sonic! Oh, is this why the Sonic Boom Sonic is always sleeping? <laughs> hey there, Tails! Did you find the tornado too? Some what? fat ass stole it! Get up and follow me! <gasps> Angel Island is falling again! Hey, no way! Check it out, it's super it's high! Well, I don't know! What Who blew it this right? time? <laughs> And we're back to being Shanny. Snock, man, the hug hug. We go this way. Sinoc, all hail Lord Sinoc. Are you gonna go to the jungle? No, we're going to the Angel Island. Are you gonna go to the jungle? No, because you know what's in the jungle? Fuck all. Palpatine, Shinnok, and Warpole are all in the jungle plotting something. <laughs> and it's all gonna come together. It's all gonna come together off screen and we're gonna blame someone completely unrelated. This is our fan fiction. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good job. Hey look, bodies. Let's add to the body count. Sweet deal. Sonic, uh, sorry. I Nothing. did have something way more and powerful Eggman. than this. But... What happened here? It's just like my Stop Japanese animes. And Chaos is still alive. Oh, what? No. Well, he is a god. No. Ah, he's not going to get away with this. I can't believe this. Hey, Eggman, wait up. Get to the load of this. <laughs> Sonic, Chaos is a fearsome beast. And? If he gets that last Chaos Emerald, we're done for. No need to explain. We'll get on it. Tails? Right. What? No, not right oh, now! Geez. Ah, gee! Yeah, he's just pissed off. It's like, damn it, this time travel is getting really inconvenient. This place, it looks familiar. I've so, been here it's before. It's not a dream after all. So I don't remember this much burning. 
You were doing a pinball thing. Wee. Get out of my way! <gasps> no way! Did you hear what I said? I won't obey! We need those seven emeralds to give us total power! You it's power for the people! And they are your people too, you know! You we must get that emerald! <sighs> Greed is our enemy. You're not gonna let that go, are you? <laughs> no! No! Why would I? Do that fucking hard game is what the kid does. Yeah. <laughs> Beat up my daughter! <laughs> Ooh, what you said. <laughs> I was waiting for that. <laughs> Ooh, that you only meant well when you summon the god. Ooh, what you said. <laughs> I'm not sure why murdering, like, little children things was part of the plan, but, you know. Eh, they got in the way. Multitasking, I guess. We have, a, we have a busy day ahead of us as this warlike tribe of angeladas. We have to go beat up my daughter, we have to murder all of her little children friends, and we have to piss off a god of destruction. Yeah. I mean, you know, full day's itinerary here. Oh, it's a monster! I'm looking forward to the weekend. I'm looking forward to the weekend where it goes full on Final Fantasy cutscene. Yeah. So what happened? Hey, are you alright? Everyone dies. I think so. Hey, are you alright? Hey, could you stop pulling me back in time while I'm trying to save the world? <laughs> no, no, no. Wait up. So I wonder if the Sonic Wiki has Tikal's father and names him Tikal's father. No, he has a name. He does. Because the Archie's comics. Oh my god. Uh, and I think Sonic X both cover this same plot point. Oh. Okay. And introduce Tikal and her father and give her father a name. Oh. Huh. I was on a snooze cruise, I guess. That's called being narcoleptic, Sonic. <laughs> that face is awesome. Okay? <laughs> you just sort of conked out there. Knuckles left conked the out. <laughs> <laughs> that was the last uh, lead the way. It should still be on board the tornado, too. Sonic, we need to save the world. Now is not a good time to develop narcolepsy. <laughs> Though that would be an amazing plot point. Fuck yeah. It's like you can feel an episode coming on. Get out of a dangerous area. <laughs> and lie down so you don't hit your head. <laughs> uh, I kind of want to see more heroes with real life, like, problems. Dis disabilities. Disabilities, yeah. That'd be interesting. Station Square will be departing soon. Just because it goes back to the whole why people don't, a lot of people don't care too much about Superman. Uh -huh. Like the hero that can do anything isn't uh, as endearing as the hero that can do nothing. Yeah, I think there's a place for both. Oh yeah, like, of course. I, I actually like Superman, but he's just handled poorly yeah, most of the time. Oh, most oh, definitely. Because uh, yeah. the challenge is so put- get the Chaos Emerald and leave. So going back to the discussions we had way back yeah. when, Yeah. Um. The things that make heroes interesting are how they overcome the no, challenges pr uh, placed the before them. Right. And any we... challenge placed before Superman should be a challenge of morality. Something that's not violent. Yeah. Right. Because you can overcome any violent or test of strength challenge. Because Penny Arcade said it the best. It's like, what happens if you encounter this? I think I'm just going to chuck it into the sun. Mm -hmm. Like when you have a hero, that that's the option. Because think about One Punch Man, which is really making the rounds. Yeah. And I love it. Yeah. Uh, Here's a character who has no issue with any physical challenge, no matter how extreme the physical challenge gets. Right. His endearing parts are him trying to figure out, like, how to navigate this world where appearance is everything. Uh-huh. And he doesn't appear like anything. <laughs> yeah. Or all these other characters trying to come to terms that all the things that they have invested so much in are nothing. Mm -hmm. They're trivial and transient. And like, Superman, so many writers are just like, let's have this other super creature fight Superman. 
Yeah. And it's like, no, Superman's gonna win. Well, why is that? Because he's fucking Superman. fucking Superman. What's the point? Like, the best Superman stories are the Superman stories either where he goes evil, he's not there, or it's Superman coming to terms with the the turning point of the hero's journey of you can't change the world of Logan. Yeah, yeah. You cannot be everywhere. You cannot save everyone. Right. But so many writers don't get that. Or so many producers or the people who green like the comics don't want that. Because that's not as interesting as Superman. Well, it's not as marketable as Superman Punch or something. Mm -hmm. Also, this is really cool. This is... This final chaos form is just freaking badass. So, I like Final Chaos. Uh -huh. Going back to a lot of the early discussions, this is the start of a lot of problems. Yeah. Because... I wasn't just dreaming... Sonic winds up facing so many freaking yeah, it's so many world-ending monsters. Yeah, I mean, Sonic 06 desperately wants to be Sonic Adventure. Yeah, because that's what the fans ask for. The fans say, "I we want more Sonic Adventure," and they're like, "Okay, we will give you exactly Sonic Adventure, upscaled in graphics." Yeah. But they don't address any of the problems with Sonic Adventure. Mm -hmm. And so it ends up this mess, and it ends up with all the problems it has. Right. Um, <laughs> thanks, that, Eggman. Man. <laughs> Bye, Eggman. We appreciate it. Um, a for effort, Eggman. And A for annihilation. Mm -hmm. And I for immolation. <laughs> you silly, silly man. Um, Who do you think you are, anyway? Chaos of the God of Destruction. Yeah. Like, I think the God of Destruction part kind of sums it all up. It's you. Thanks, we already figured out it's to call. Anyway, um, so instead of Chaos, chaos the water monster, you fight you. Iblis, the fire monster. Right. But, like, Chaos was cool because it was something you didn't see in the Sonic universe very often. Yeah. And even, like I said in the first episode, it's something new, it's something weird, but it still looks like a Sonic character. Right. At no point in any stage of Iblis is evolution does he look like a Sonic character. Yeah. And at no point during Dark Arms, anytime Dark Arms show up, they don't look like Sonic characters. Right. Yeah, they, they don't evolve into something interesting. Yeah. I mean, from something that's like Sonic focused. Yeah. But uh, Chaos here turns from a Sonic character into Biolante. Yeah. He must be sealed in the Master Emerald now! <gasps> no way! How can that help? It won't change how he feels inside, will it? His heart will still remain in turmoil, and his anger just won't When was that established? That is a good question. And are we gonna beat the demons out of him again? <laughs> is this gonna be a theme for these recordings? It seems like it. That's okay, it doesn't happen in Sly Cooper. <laughs> Everyone shows up, and they all pick up an emerald. Uh-huh. Amy! I found this rock, and I want to shove it in your skull! I think they should play Amy's theme during this, uh, this last battle. <laughs> hey guys, what's up? As you're flying toward him in Super Sonic. Chaos Sonic's only used the negative power of the emeralds. That makes so little sense. <laughs> You should be able to harness their real power. Well, the Emeralds never made any goddamn sense to begin with. Yeah. I think Tails is right about this. Yeah, I don't want Tails to be right. Fuck that Yo, shit. Sonic! Yeah, Sonic! Yeah, Sonic! Sonic! This is pretty hype, nice, though. Yeah. Like, not right now for yeah. us as adults, but no. like, if you were to play this as a kid, this would be just fucking badass. I think my favorite version of this, like, everyone cheers you on, uh -huh. is the final, final stage of Elite Beat Agents. Oh, yeah. Because it's, like, this, the last scenario is aliens invade, and you have to cheer on the rebellion. Uh -huh. And then at the end of that, uh... You get, the EBA agents get hit and they get turned into stone, and everyone's like, no! And then somebody starts chanting, EBA, EBA, and everyone cheers up and they bust out, <laughs> and Jumping Jack Flash starts playing. Awesome. And everyone defeats the aliens with the power of Dan. That's great. It's like, but then again, Elite agents is this nonsense to begin with. Yeah. Oh. So this is the level, you're just flying forward. And making sure you keep rings. Yep, just keep rings. 
That means it's good. Damn it. I'm unhyping it. Yeah. And I'm so glad at Generations they give you this fight. Uh-huh. Because at the end of each chunk of levels of Generations, it's a uh, remix of a boss fight from those chunk of games. Uh-huh. Um, you get the egg whatever from, I think, Sonic and Knuckles? Okay. Uh, like, the big Eggman robot that was kind of the iconic boss fight. Uh, I think that's Sonic 2. Okay, it might be Sonic 2. I'm not... I don't know that era of Sonic very well. It's got those spike fingers, right? Yeah. Yeah, that's Sonic 2. Okay, you get the final boss of Sonic 2. For this generation, you get him. And then for the last generation, who gives a shit? Yeah. And here we go. Almost. I think there's one more hit. Nope. No. No, I, but I think he does come back. Oh, okay. I don't think this is the end. Yeah, I guess three hits would be a little too little. Yeah. Oh, that's right. Yeah, he has one more form. Because yeah. He's the final boss. Oh, but I'm sad we stopped playing the other music. Yeah. That was all hype. Yeah. It's all, that's all Sonic is. It's all hype. Come on, give us the hype back. Stick with it. Yes, three more hits. Hope you can get enough rings. But yeah, like so many people know Live and Learn. Mm -hmm. I like Open Your Heart way more than Live and Learn. Yeah. But in order to get Open Your Heart, you need to beat all of it. Uh, doesn't it play in the intro? It plays in the intro for like five seconds, but you don't get the full song. Oh, okay. I don't even think it gets to the lyric part. Oh. I think it's just the, the opening instrumental. Yeah. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. I wasn't going fast enough. Yeah, and you got eight rings left. Yep. Oh, that's actually a problem. Ruh row This could be a pro. I'll lose one of my 17 lives. No. There we go. Okay. Problems have been solved. Well, alleviated. Problems have been solved. <laughs> you say that. Don't turn my words against me. These are my words, and I will use them. <laughs> what, what are you supposed to do? Uh-oh. I think I need more rings. Uh, really? Maybe? I think you're supposed to, like, move in a spiral or something. I'll try that next time. Yep. You mean you're not going to beat it this time? No, I mean next time I hit him. Oh. Zero. Uh-oh. No. Yeah, there we go. Well, that just happened. Uh-huh. Try that again. When you reach maximum speed, you'll turn into a bolt of lightning. Perfect so chaos. To attack chaos. Oh, Good the music. So you have to be at, okay. You have to be at the maximum speed to do it. Yeah. Okay, this is better. I just want to listen to the song. Yeah. This is so much the Sonic songs where it's like, yeah, Sonic! <laughs> yeah, I, I think I always preferred this too, and I, I can say that without having played this game because I played Smash Brothers and they play both this and Live and Learn. Because this is the best songs from Sonic. Yeah, it's among them. Yeah, it's like, it's these two, these are the hype songs. Mm -hmm. um, the City Escape, which is the best uh, stage theme. Mm -hmm. And you have uh, Sonic's theme from Sonic Adventure 02, mm -hmm. which is the best version of Sonic's theme, which is the only one that's really badly. Yeah. Uh, I think they have Shadow's theme in there too, which I've never been a fan of, but then again, I've never been much of a fan of Shadow. Right. Uh, and I think they have one of Knuckles' themes in there. Probably. Um, it's the one where they talk about how he's an enchilada, right? And how he needs to find those emeralds. <laughs> okay, just did not be switch. hit. Oh, fuck, fuck nuggets. What, what was that? Fuck nuggets. Was, uh... Yay! I no! Did it. Oh, you Bam. Bam! Bam! Barely made it. Suck it! Barely is good enough.
the most, uh, like, always, 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 the most exciting victories are the victories from the jaws of defeat moments. Yes. Um, but you have to be really careful about those, because sometimes you just get these moments where it's like, how? How can this character possibly win this fight? Right. Because so many fights, especially in anime, always boil down to, uh, it's not a back and forth. Like, one character is clearly superior than the other. Uh-huh. And then and it's- Something comes out of the other character's ass. Uh, ah, damn it. So close. Damn it. Damn it. Damn it! Fuck. Uh, so, yeah, something comes out of the main char one character's ass. Like, I've been holding this back. Mm -hmm. Or, uh... I just mastered this, or I realize the thing I need to do. Yeah, or I have the power of friendship. Yeah. I have the power of I must succeed! <laughs> okay. Hurry up. One more. I have my doubts, but we'll see. We will see. We will see, you see? Just don't get hit, I guess. I guess. Um, I have 60 more tries. Yeah. And if I fail at this one, I'm just gonna cut if we don't have any good conversation. Yeah. Uh, I think I fucked it. Yup. No! no. <laughs> Bam. Um, yeah. I'm sure it'd start me at the second stage, but whatever. That would be nice. Um, oh well. Oh well. But yeah, with anime fight scenes, um, it's. They're on an even playing field, and then it's a, a decent duel. And it's just a matter of whoever gets the upper hand. Right. Um, wait, oh, I'm doing so much worse this time. Oh, I'm doing so much worse this time. <laughs> Which you very rarely get that. Yeah. Um. Fuck. Can I just restart this? Can I just can try? Come on, give me control back. Give me control back so I can restart it. Half-Life 2 spoiled me on just, like, let me always have control. There we go. Yeah, I'm just thinking about this one. Um, anyway, you very, very rarely get the, like, just straight, even playing field duel. Yeah. Um, you have the one which is, like, the hype-up fight, where it's the character has attained the whatever, the super MacGuffin power nuggets, MacGuffin muffins, mm -hmm. and now has the very clear upper hand and just a matter of win. Right. Like, the climax of the conflict has passed. The final fight is uh, a token thing. It's catharsis. Yeah. You get this a lot in Dragon Ball Z's. Yeah. Like, the, the next level of super fuck it. And now the whatever can't fight. Yeah. It's not a contest anymore. It's just... I would... I've overcome the conflict, and it wasn't you. Right. Um, what I needed to find. And then you have the ones where the hero is always in the lower position, and they find an opening. Mm -hmm. And the the one that really categorizes this the most, I'm not giving uh, a direct example, it's just like the position I find them in. Like, the villain is about to deliver the final blow, and the hero gets in a lucky shot. Yeah. Like, the, the villain jumps them, and they happen to stab him. Right. It's just kind of either instinct or pure luck. Yeah. The the victory from the jaws of defeat. Right. Um, so on this part of the map, you seem to have a uh, tendency to go a little to the right. Um, you didn't this time, so it might not be an issue, but uh, just noticing a habit that yeah. can get you a couple extra rings if you rectify it. Aha! Yeah. Gotcha this time, bitch. Okay, so I'm gonna... I think you're doing better. Yeah. I got a couple extra tries now. Uh-huh. So, go left, you're saying. Uh, no, you just went left and it was fine, so now go a little bit right. Oh, well, it, That was direct center, okay. Yeah, it alternates. There are three separate parts of the stage. Oh, I thought there were only two. Nope. Okay. I just need to avoid bullshit. Yeah, got it. Okay, brain. Barely is all I need. Yep. One more shot, and I got 30 rings. Mm -hmm. I think I got this. Yeah. 
might not even need to pick up rings, just avoid everything. Yeah. I mean, try anyway, but don't go out of the way. Yes. Yeah, I got it. You got it. Bam! That's a pretty definitive explosion. Yeah. Although, explosions in this don't actually harm people. Hey, but it's over. You mm -hmm. other time. Fuck you, Sonic. Hey, I'll fuck you up some other time. That's what he said, right? <laughs> tinkling, tinkling. Okay, chaos to call. Stomp this. Stomp this war. Now okay. kiss. <laughs> Surprise! The Chow were the key to all of this. Yes, we didn't do anything with them. And then he absorbs them all and becomes a monster again. Now he ate the Chow's emeralds. This time for the better. Yeah! Supersonic must have neutralized it, so it's nice again. Sure! Why not? Okay. These are the Chow you were protecting. I brought them back to life because apparently I have that power. You only kill hundreds of thousands of people. Turns out they weren't dead. They were just knocked over by a bunch of deuce bags. Mm -hmm. They stayed alive for generations and now live peacefully with humans. Uh oh. Well, I guess I don't care. Mommy. That's the end of that chapter. <laughs> the fighting's over. Harmony's restored and life goes on. Her mouth favors to the right. Yeah. It's yes. Weird. Noticing that too. Thank yep. you so much. Ooh, oh, those guys. Not you. Where's, Knuckles, get out of here. Where's Amy and Big go? Ah, oh, they left. Where's Ed, Ed 209? <laughs> Remember he exploded? Oh, yeah. He exploded and became a bird. Where's the bird? Uh, the bird fucked off. Oh. The bird, Amy, now. and uh, Big went off to form their own little team. Yeah, that's true. They're getting a head start on these three fuckers because they know they can't keep up. Mm -hmm. That's why the fact Sonic's out that fast. Oh, good, Eggman's still alive. Yeah. And he just fucks we off. Did, we did see him fly out of the yep. explosion. Good well, job, Eggman. Oh, there's Big. Guess we need a new city oh, to live in. There's, there's the bird. Well ends well, right? Aside from the fact the city was annihilated and everyone's dead. I would just slap him and knock him into the water. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, all oh, well that ends well, despite the <laughs> bodies are just floating by in the water. Yeah. Just a wide shot pans out. You can see the destruction. It's like the end of Watchmen. It's like, all's well that ends well. Yeah. Oh, man. Oh. Maybe that's it. Maybe that's the force working against Eggman. It's Ozymandias. Yeah, it's very possible. But more <laughs> out of spite than any wish for humanity to preserve itself. It's like, no, this is just a hobby. Yeah. I would love that if, like... You get a Sonic game where it kind of zooms out, and the whole Sonic and Eggman conflict is this really minor, trivial thing that no one acknowledges just because it's like, no, Eggman's an idiot. Yeah. Eggman's an idiot and he was never a threat. Yeah. I mean, Sonic is this incompetent asshole, and he's foiling him consistently every time. Yeah. It's like, what's the sort of Eggman's plans every time? Kidnap a bunch of little animals. Yes, and turn them into robots. And Sonic's plan is spin on things and make them not robots anymore. I would love like an actual villain, an actual hero to show up and just be like, wait, oh, you guys are still doing that? Yeah. Is this a long drawn out art piece? Is this a play? Where are the cameras? Yeah. I love this show. Yeah. We trained around a Sonic Roll as a joke. I'm spinning! That's effective as a combat strategy, right? <laughs> I found that out in Dark Souls.
Yuji Uikere. I probably said that wrong. Yeah. Uh, decent job with Chaos. Mm -hmm. Chaos is an interesting looking character. Yep. Uh, whoever did Ilbis, you fucked up. Mm -hmm. You fucked up. Another thing fucked up in that game. Yep. Fuck you, Iblis. Nobody likes you. Maybe that's why he's mad. <laughs> but, yeah! I can't. Oh my god, Elvis has little brother sitting in the room with chaos. There we go. More cannon! I wanna be the cool villain too! Elvis, the only one who gives a shit about you is Silver. It's no use! And no one likes Silver. It's no use! Fuck <laughs> you, Silver! Great, great, great! Atasi Shusi Kogusu. Kogusu. No. He's a guy. Shiny Jolly. Dread Fox. Sweet deal. And H. E. Kokori played two Oh! East Fourth Horns. Mm -hmm. John St. John, there he is. Yeah, yeah. It's a shame they didn't actually write which characters they voice. Yeah. Whatever. I mean, so we can't blame them for bad line readings. Yeah. Oh, no. Not at all. Just... I wasn't aware John St. John was big. Yeah. Oh, wow. Yeah. Look at that. Old steel. <laughs> We've got frogs of steel. <laughs> I'm here to fish and look for Froggy! Oh, they're all out of Froggy! I'll rip off your head and fish down your neck! <laughs> Hail to the frog, baby! <laughs> Hail to the fish, Froggy! Perfect. Yeah, I'm sure it's his proudest role. <laughs> Oh, big your heart, you're gonna be alright! I guess these are like the true credits or something. Yeah. Because they feel longer than the rest of the credits. Yeah. But they're not as painful. No. Because we know it's actually Dover. It's finally Ogre. Yeah. Fucking Shrek. So we were playing the DX version, which was the 2003 re-release. Okay. So it's a little bit more cleaned up. Yeah, less buggy. A little bit. That's a cute picture. Yeah. With the mass murderer. Yeah, the, the like, oh, I blew up a city. Whatever. Everyone blows up cities. Yeah. Well, that's it. It's over. Yay. 